that is good. Wonderful morning to everybody. Uh, it's my birthday today and I'm actually working, uh, which is nice. I'm in a, one of the best places to do so. I'm in the Tour Hotel Forsthofgut, one of the best places in the Alps. For sure, it's a five-star family resort with the most beautiful rooms and I'm actually in one of them, which is called the Garden Lofts. And there are three of them in the hotel. It's a two-story room, a beautiful bathtub, perfect views. And the reason for this video is I'm reviewing the new uh, Canon RF 10 to 20 f4 L lens, which is basically an ultra, ultra wide lens, uh, replacing the 14 uh, to 20. And uh, I've never been much of an, uh, a wide angle shooter. And I think I still am not, but I still wanted to give it a try. So special thanks to my uh, photo star, Photo Küche, for lending me this and Canon Austria. And I've been shooting already for the past like hour, uh, doing normal shots as it is a beautiful day outside today with the snow. And uh, I wanted to give some shots a try of the 10 to 20. You can see here how the, the glass is sticking out. And um, when you zoom, I don't know if you can see that, it moves a bit. So it's not a full in enclosure. Only moves a tiny bit, so I'm also okay with that. You cannot take this off, but you actually can mount uh, ND filters and pole filters uh, right in here, which actually I think is a, uh, a valid idea. But you have to actually check which type you put in, because if you go up until 10 millimeters, you'd be possibly seeing the, um, the surrounding or the edges of the filters, as I've tried before with a 77 millimeter um, pole filter. But yeah, uh, this is what it looks like and it's super cute and uh, nice to hold and it gives you super weird angles especially when you do like uh, when you do rooms and uh, i actually hate to shoot uh, hotel rooms or architecture with super wide angle because um, mm. the lines are so distorted and it actually um, gives the wrong information about a room because it makes it look so 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 much bigger but still it's uh, here that I want to try it out and actually give the super wide angle a chance. Usually I only shoot with 35 millimeter, 50 millimeter, and today I brought also 70 to 200 for the uh, great um, uh, lens compression. But I have to say, it's actually fun to go between the 14 and 20 millimeters as it is, I think, still a, a digestible uh, focal length. It's kind of fun to do those super wide angle shots that you maybe need for a website or for a banner with this lens. Yeah, and Canon, if you're listening, the form factor of this lens is actually great. I think from it's lightweight, it's uh, smaller than the 50 millimeter, which I love a lot. So if you want to keep that form factor and maybe pack in maybe a 35 millimeter F2 in that form factor, I think that would be my go-to lens for almost everything. Um, I've been dreaming of a, uh, of a 35 millimeter lens uh, in RF, which I hope is still coming. And I really don't care too much about the 1.4 or 1.2 maybe, even if it would be nice, but I rather um, get a little bit less um, uh, depth of field, um, but actually save in size because I think the RF lenses tend to be uh, humongous, especially if you go into the uh, 28 to 70 or the 85 millimeter f1.2. I have that lens, I love it, but it's a pain in the ass to carry around, to shoot with it. Um, and I think uh, f2 is something that I would love, give me a bit of range because I usually shoot between f2.5 and f like 4. Being at weddings, being at um, like normal photography, like here, so Canon, if you're listening like this. So yeah, the, the main objective for today was to shoot outside uh, this window and the uh, uh, 10 to 20 is actually a perfect thing to do. So, And uh, this window is here, it's facing uh, one of the other garden lofts, so you see the architecture and what it looks like. Uh, it's pretty neat and the objective was to take photos, take photos with the ski pist. So the ski pist runs through the hotel. It was actually open today, as the conditions are great. So to take photos of the ski pist just before we had uh, the sun coming in from basically up there. 
which I already have the photos, that's why I'm doing the video now. And yeah, getting some skiers and this is what it looks like when with 20 millimeters and with 11 millimeters, it's actually ridiculous. It's so wide, you have so much of the, the outside and the distortion is, I think, not that bad, but still way, way, way too much for me. Uh, the angle with the 10 millimeters is so off for me, but still it's amazing that you can actually fit this in a very actually tiny housing without getting any um, black borders like you would have in a fish eye, because I think Canon has a still an eight millimeter fish eye lens uh, for EF, not for RF. So I think for everybody, whoever this goes to, I think this could be fantastic for um, wildlife photographers, for uh, landscape photographers, like mountain photographers. And I think one cool thing would be in the usage of people who are diving photographers, because I think the wide angle lens can you get really close to um, to smaller creatures, but still get every every uh, angle on there and as much footage uh, as you want as the depth of field usually in underwater is really shallow because the light doesn't reach as far. So I think this, if you put this in a housing and take it underwater, I think it could be a, an amazing uh, thing to do. And I also don't mind that it obviously stops down with four. I'm gonna take a photo of this and show you what it looks like with 10 millimeters. And in landscape and uh, portrait mode, it's actually ridiculous. Uh, what's quite cool is the minimum focus distance. Obviously, I think I will figure it out. Blend it in here. Uh, it's probably around 10 centimeters. So you can actually get really, really close. And yeah, gonna give it a shot. Um, see you back in the studio. Welcome back to the office. It's a little while later. Here's my quick summary. The build quality of the lens is fantastic. The colors are great. Um, the fact that you can do a 10 to 20 in that housing on a full frame without being a fish eye or too much uh, black uh, lines on the corners is fantastic. I'm looking forward to when uh, Lightroom releases the profile corrections for this lens. And I think it's a fantastic product but definitely not for me. I think the, the usage for it is really for landscape photographers in a helicopter, for uh, diving photographers, or whatever you have. Um, it's a very specific, I think very um, charismatic lens. I can think of climbers, uh, climbing photographers who want a very distorted, um, massive feel to a photo um, that this lens would be great. But other than that, uh, I think I will stick to my guns here and the only thing I'm waiting for with Canon is what I mentioned, the 35mm RF f1.2. I think it's even confirmed for this quarter. Uh, so I hope up until March I can uh, get my hands on it on a demo or even already buy it because that is for sure one thing that I will immediately buy as I think it is one of the most used lenses that I have. Um, I love the 50 millimeter, I love the 85 millimeter, I love the 35 millimeter EF that I have. Uh, I know there are a couple of photographers out there who love the 28 to 70 millimeter of Canon, which almost like has this whole focal length um, covered, but I stick to my guns. I'm waiting for the 35 millimeter. So yeah. That's it. Uh, thank you again to my uh, partners on this. They don't get to see this before I release it. Um, great product, not for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't subscribe yet, uh, please do so and see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.